So we're given this function f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 16, and we want to find the average rate of change from x1 equals negative 3 to x2 equals 2. So what exactly does that mean, average rate of change? When, when you see the phrase average rate of change, what that really refers to is the slope. And I graph this particular function right here just to illustrate. You don't have to do this for these problems, but just to show you that, see the average rate of change or the slope, you know, that, for example, here the slope is negative, here it's zero, here it's positive. You can see that the slope is constantly changing depending on where you're at on this particular graph. But what we're looking at is between these two points, so like when x is negative three, this point, to when uh, x equals two, this point, what's the average rate of change between these two points, meaning what's the slope of that line? What we need to do though in order to find the slope, which remember is this formula here, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we need to find the y values. So let's go ahead and put negative three in and two in and see what those y values are. So this will be negative three comma, let's see, this is nine times two is 18, uh, minus 12, which is six, minus 16 is negative 10. And if we put two in for x, we get two squared is four times two is eight, plus another eight, which is 16, minus 16 is zero. So we've got our two points now. Let's go ahead and put them into our slope formula. So this is gonna be uh, negative 10 minus zero, I'm just subtracting the y values, divided by negative three minus two, which equals negative 10 over negative five, which equals two and that's the slope of this line, that's the average rate of change. Now when you're doing this, be careful about the order, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or you could do it the other way, zero minus negative 10 over two minus negative three, but you wanna stay consistent, you wanna change the order midway, otherwise you're gonna get the, uh, the wrong slope. So I hope this helped you understand how to find average rate of change. Subscribe to the channel and check out more math videos on my Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video.